Hey, welcome back to the flip class. Check it out. Trippy colors. I did that on purpose. All right. Today we're going to talk about visual representations of fractions. Not just looking at fractions on a page, but being able to use rulers and other ways to look at the fractions. Okay, let's jump right into it. All right. Let's do a quick refresher. How do we compare fractions? Let's compare four eighths and two fourths. Okay. Well, what do we do? I look at my denominators and I know I want those denominators to be the same. Okay. So I'm going to look at 4 and 8, which are my two denominators. I'm going to make my little handy dandy chart, and I'm going to count by each. I'm going to count the multiples. We have 8, then we have 16, we have 24, we have 32, and that's all I'm going to do. If I need to do more, I will. Okay? Down here we have 4, 8, 12, 16. I'll stop right there. Okay? What numbers do both of these have in common? Well, they both have 16 in common, right? Of course they do. You could use that and you wouldn't get a wrong answer, but we want to use the smallest number they have in common, which is what? 8. They both have an 8. So we want our denominator, in both cases, to end up as 8. So we can really compare which one's greater, which one's less than. If they're equal, we don't know. All right? 4 eighths. How do I make that into something that has a denominator of an 8? Mr. Quick, it already does. Yeah, it already does, right? I don't have to change anything. My magic number would be 1, because 8 times 1 is 8, 4 times 1 is 4, I'm done, okay? What about 2 fourths? What would be my magic number here? Well, the denominator times what equals 8? 4 times 2 equals 8. Now I need to do the same thing with the numerator. 2 times 2 is 4. I see that over here I have 4 eighths. I see that over here I have 4 eighths. So I know that 4 eighths equals 2 fourths, okay? They are equivalent. Let's label this inch on the ruler, shall we? Okay. I've got my long one here in the middle, which is, I know, halfway, okay, because it's the longest one. The next longest one, or the next shortest one, however you want to look at it, is a fourth, right? One, two, three. Oh, how'd that work? What did I just do? You didn't go all the way to the one. Ah, you're right. I didn't go all the way to the one. All right. Yes, one, two, three, four. It's my one mistake I'm going to make all year, okay? So check it out. That's one fourth. This is one half, but it's also two fourths. They're equivalent. This is three fourths, okay? I come all the way over here and I have four fourths, which is the same as one, all right? And now let's look at these little tiny guys, all right? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I know they're eighths. You know they're eighths already. One eighth, two eighths, which is equivalent to one fourth, three eighths, four eighths, which is equivalent to two fourths, which is equivalent to one half, right? Five eighths, six eighths, which is equivalent to three fourths, seven eighths here, and then eight eighths.